Good evening, parents, and welcome to the 2021 school year. I'm terribly sorry that most of you have to meet me for the first time on a screen, um, but I'm looking forward to meeting all of you and engaging with you uh, during the course of the year. Just a little bit about myself uh, to introduce myself. Uh, I'm married to Tracy and we have a lovely daughter, Taylor, who's five years old. And uh, we're really enjoying being back in Pretoria after having just moved back from the Natal Midlands uh, in, in Hilton. Um, a little bit about my background. Uh, I've been involved in schools for the last 20 years, mainly in a high school background, working in sports departments uh, across South Africa. I started my career at St. Andrews College in Grahamstown before spending some time at uh, Gray High School in Port Elizabeth, and then spent 12 years at St. Albans College uh, in Pretoria before moving down to the KZN Midlands and uh, spending two years at Cowan House Prep School. Uh, down there. But it is wonderful to be back and it is wonderful to be at WIPS and I'm really looking forward to my time here and uh, and, and being involved with the sport here at, uh, at WIPS. So my philosophy on sport revolves around the, the intramural activities. I firmly believe that it is a, a very formal part of the education process. Skills learnt in the classroom and those learnt on the field are both intertwined. And here at WIPS, we encourage boys to strive for personal excellence and develop a broad base skill set. That would be a sort of defining motto of what we're trying to achieve on the sports field. Now, how would we go about doing that? Uh, my philosophy is that we need to develop, to develop skills, we need to allow boys to learn encountering the three E's, being enthusiasm, excitement, and excellent. Boys need to be enthusiastic about what they're doing, and the way they're going to do that is they're going to be enjoying what they're doing. And first, the priority is to make sure that enjoyment on the sports field is a priority. Once boys are enjoying what they're doing, they become excited about what they're doing and want to learn more. And once they're excited about what they're doing, they want to be good at what they're doing, and that rolls over into excellence. And I think that philosophy uh, is much the same in the classroom, where boys want to be enthusiastic about what they're doing, they're excited about what they're doing, and when they're enthusiastic and excited, then they produce excellent results. And for me, the two are, are intertwined, and I believe that they both play a very important role in the development, particularly of young boys. And so how do we go about coaching in order to develop and encourage uh, these boys to strive for personal excellence and develop these broad skills? I'm a firm believer that we need to teach these skills and we need to learn while playing. And particularly at, at a young age, boys come from a very low base from a skills point of view, and they need to be taught how to do different things, whether it's bowling or catching a rugby ball or running or being active or tackling. Uh, they need to be taught these skills. Once they're taught the skills, they need to develop play through practices um, and actually practice the skills that they've learned. Uh, once they've practiced, we need to apply strategy to those practices and then develop performance where we actually go and engage in performance against other schools, we perform against each other, and we learn different skills along the way and actually put those skills to the test. Once we've played those games and we've developed performance, we evaluate those performances. By evaluating those performances, we look at whether we've either won or we've learnt, and we go back and teach the skills that are needed to improve, and in so doing, we go back into full cycle. That is my philosophy around uh, around sport and, and how the learning process uh, in sport takes place. So a little bit of background as to the way I, I see sport and uh, and my philosophy um, around that. So moving on to some of the nuts and bolts of the school year ahead of us, you'll notice um, on the uh, the term planner that we've got an integrated day in our timetable and on a monday the grade fives will have their sports program between 11 and 12 30 and on a wednesday the grade fours will have their sports uh, practice between 10 30 and 12. there's two main reasons for this one is for us to create space on our fields those of you that have been at whips for a long time will know that space uh, is a problem and creating space for fixtures and practices uh, particularly in the summer months um, is an issue and this is one way we're trying to create more space it also helps us during this COVID time to help with social distancing and allowing only one grade in an afternoon um, in that particular space so we also want to try and reduce the time lost uh, to lightning and hopefully by having these practices at that time of the day uh, lightning normally comes in the afternoon and interrupts our practices we're hoping that that will give us a little bit more time uh, to 
to get those practices underway. Uh, it is under a, a trial process in the mo at the moment, and we are looking at how this works, but I firmly believe um, that it's going to create more time in our day, it's going to create more space uh, for boys, it's going to allow boys um, the time and space to be able to uh, get involved in other avenues of the school, and uh, and I'm really looking forward to to this. So just look out for that. It's, it's not a typo on the week ahead. Uh, your boys will be having their sports practices at that time. So just a couple of small things uh, that make a big difference. Please remember that dress is very important here at WIPS. Make sure that your boys are dressed correctly. Make sure that they pack correctly uh, for their different matches and practices. Uh, try and get them into a habit of packing the night before, making sure that they are prepared for the next day. Um, WIPS is a busy place, as I'm sure you all know, and being prepared uh, goes a long way to making sure that this takes place. Punctuality, um, another thing that, that helps everybody run on time, and punctuality actually helps everyone, not just the individual. Uh, it has a major effect on those around you uh, when you are late, so please can we try and make sure that we're punctual in terms of arriving uh, at practices and uh, and also at matches. Uh, punctuality also just in terms of the little things throughout the school day to make sure that we can fit in the busy schedule that we are busy with. Uh, Whoops boys and their manners uh, goes without say. I've been so impressed with the boys at Whoops uh, in my short interaction that I've had with them here, but also in my interactions I've had with Whoops over my years in Pretoria whenever I come onto the campus. It certainly does make a, a big impression and it does make um, a big impact on our community out there. So please encourage this amongst your boys. Sportsmanship and recognizing achievements of other players, including opposition, accepting umpires' decisions, uh, making sure that we are gentlemen when we're winning and losing, and making sure that we uh, we go about our way in, in a sporting way, a sporting manner, and uh, and put our best foot forward. So if I could ask you as parents just to encourage these four things and to make sure that your boys are up to speed when it comes to uh, to these little things that make a huge impression on on other people. Uh, it would be a miss of me not to talk about uh, COVID-19 and the way forward, and you would have already seen the start of the school year um, in the stop-start sort of um, approach that we've had, and we've been fortunate to get online um, with a number of things. Um, and at the moment, we're looking at structuring our sports program in a two-week cycle. So we're constantly being made um, aware of how we can uh, best run this program in a safe and structured environment. We, we're looking at the week ahead in terms of how we can structure practices and activities. And I'd request that you look at the week ahead in terms of how we are doing this um, and the way that we're going forward. We'll continue to adapt and change this program as we go forward and, uh, and we hope that we can get back to our scheduled program as soon as possible. At the moment, uh, we can practice and we can, uh, we can play sport on our campus, but unfortunately we can't have any events and no inter-school fixtures uh, may take place. And I'll keep you up to date on the way forward uh, with this. So we're looking forward to welcoming all the boys back to school on Monday, and we'll start on Monday uh, with cricket and swimming. Um, we won't have any uh, tennis, uh, next week, we're going to do some swimming trials. We're going to start our cricket program. We're going to keep boys in smaller groups and, uh, and, and integrate them into our new program. So we're really looking forward to that. The sports calendar in 2021, uh, I'm in discussion with a number of schools here in Pretoria and in Johannesburg. Uh, we're looking at ways of how we can structure the school year and, and best fit in all of our sports. This may include extending the cricket season a little bit longer to the end of the first term, maybe moving some of the sports around, playing in them at different times of the year, and in that way ensuring that we can, uh, we can sports can take place. We are in constant communication uh, with schools that are hosting festivals and tours, um, and we're hoping as much of that as possible can take place and be pushing for for all those events to to happen obviously in the structure uh, that we have so just on staff and coaches uh, we welcome a number of new interns to our staff this year and uh, and a number of new staff they all have um, a set of skills that are going to be very useful in the sports field um, we're looking forward to welcoming them to our sports department I'm looking forward to them coaching teams and, and really being involved and, and having an impact uh, on our boys. So uh, welcome to our new staff and I hope that you enjoy engaging with them. Um, I've certainly enjoyed my time and getting to know them uh, being new on the staff myself. Uh, just communication with parents, just a few reminders in terms of our communication channels. The D6 communication app 
uh, remains a central point for all of our uh, communication. Uh, please look out for the following documents on the D6. Uh, these include the intramural timetable for each term and the calendar. Those are broad strokes, giving you long-term planning. Um, as you'll be aware, there are variables which come into sport and there are changes, and even more so during this time, as mentioned before, uh, during COVID-19, um, we expect things to be fluid and change quite often. Um, and so the week ahead, uh, we'll, which will be published on a Friday, um, will give you more of an indication of the details, where your child will be playing sport, what times, what venues, um, and, uh, and if any nuances have been changed. So the broad strokes on the intramural timetable and on the calendar, uh, the nitty gritty and details on the week ahead. Uh, team sheets will also be placed up on the communicator the day before fixtures take place. Uh, please look at those um, so that you know that teams take uh, where, where your boys are playing and, uh, and where team fixtures are taking place. WhatsApp groups we encourage only to be used for late changes um, and changes that take place um, late. I know it's a very popular form of communication, but we do want to channel as much of our communication uh, to one single point, and that point will be our D6 communication app. So thank you very much for that. Uh, just in terms of uh, other communication fixtures, like I said, will be loaded on a Friday for the week ahead. Uh, in case of inclement, inclement weather, um, if we need to make changes with regards to matches or fixtures being cancelled or sport being cancelled with lightning and, and rain, we'll make a decision on this at 12 o'clock uh, each day. So that will go out on the D6. And uh, we urge you not to, uh, to phone for a decision before that. I know that you're busy and I know that you need to make arrangements in terms of collecting your boys and, and moving your boys around. But we want to give ourselves the best possible opportunity for fixtures and practices to take place in the afternoon. And we've given ourselves until 12 o'clock to allow that to happen. One of my biggest frustrations is canceling events and then we have a change in the weather and, uh, and it, it doesn't work out. On a Saturday, we'll notify parents as soon as possible in the morning, as soon as we know information from uh, schools that we're traveling to. We'll have people on campus looking at our facilities early in the morning and uh, We'll, we'll send a message out as, as soon as we can. If you haven't heard anything, we encourage you to continue as normal until the message is, is sent out in, in, on a Saturday morning. Uh, just a reminder that boys that need to be excused from practices or from PE, please do write a note in the allocated space in their diaries. Please don't send letters to school. Uh, these are very difficult to keep track of. Um, it's easier for us to communicate to a, a larger group of people through the class teacher if those notes are written um, in their books. Uh, so thank you very much for doing that. In terms of communication with staff, um, if we could look at um, parents communicating directly with coaches um, and coaches then uh, directly with the head of the sport or the head of the age group in the senior primary and then queries to come through to the director of sport. Uh, please try and go to the source, go to the coach first, um, then to to the, the, the age group leaders. Each age group in the senior primary will have a person in charge of that age group. Um, if there are bigger issues and you need to come directly to me, I have an open door and you're more than welcome to come and communicate uh, with me directly. But I encourage you to please go to the coaches or age group coordinators uh, first for the junior primary staff. If you could go to the coaches and to the junior primary uh, head of sport, Ross Wolfart, uh, first. Um, if he can't help you, I'm sure you'll pass on that information to me. Uh, promoting and dropping of players, it's complex. Um, I have a lot of empathy with players uh, looking to be promoted, players who are trying their best to get uh, to move up from a D team to a C team. Um, I have empathy with players who get dropped from a B team to a C team or an A team to a B team. Um, I know this is complicated, but we urge parents to, to provide support for these boys and to support coaches in their decisions. And my role as director of sport is to make sure that this communication is dealt with sensitively and that uh, it, it's done correctly, that we, uh, it, there's no yo-yoing of players between teams, but uh, we, we have empathy with, with boys that do well, as well as those that are perhaps struggling and, and need to go to lower teams. So um, we ask you to work with us on that and, uh, and hopefully we can foster these relationships with you as parents and boys when it, uh, when it comes to this. Uh, just a couple of things to remember, sports fixtures are compulsory. Um, if you're not able to make it for whatever reason, uh, please make sure that you have permission from the headmaster or myself as director of sport. Uh, a reminder that boys um, 
in their team sports will play in their year group in their grades so the grade threes will play together grade fours will play together fives etc um, rather than the age groups um, but when it comes to individual sports like tennis and swimming and athletics boys will compete in their age groups um, if you have a son who happens to be a year young or a, a year old for his age and you're unsure of this uh, please engage with me on that um, and let's have a conversation around it um, the, the details of, of this have been communicated. And just a reminder to you that, that this is the way our sport is structured uh, going forward. Uh, we're a reminder, we provide transport to all fixtures. Um, but however, on a Saturday, we do require parents to book transport so that we know how much transport to book. If you require transport, there will be a Google form link on the week ahead. Uh, please could that be filled in before Thursday morning. This gives us time to book the appropriate transport that we need uh, for uh, for the weekend and uh, your help and and um, and communication on this would be greatly appreciated. We really encourage parents to uh, come onto campus. Um, parents play a major role in, in developing a passion for sport in their boys. You know, I, I'm so aware of um, parents on the side of the field and the impact that it has on on boys on the field and the positive support that uh, that boys uh, get from their parents. Uh, we encourage you to come onto the campus. We welcome you onto the campus and, and I look forward to engaging with all of you on the side of the sports field uh, during the course of the year. Just a reminder as well that, that you as parents are hosts of, of our opposition parents. You know, when we play fixed against, against other schools, they will have parents who come onto our campus um, to watch their sons. And uh, please be mindful of, uh, of your interaction with them and welcoming them to our, uh, our campus and, and being hosts for WIPs on our campus. And, and in that regard, you know, behavior of parents on the side of the field, um, while your sons are representing the school and, uh, and playing sport, you as parents represent the school in your support and we encourage you to be positive in that regard. So in conclusion, I just want to thank you uh, for your time. Uh, I look forward to meeting you on the side of the field and, and engaging with you during the year. Uh, I'm uh, new to WIPS. There's a lot that I need to learn. So if there's anything that I may have left out that you're unsure of, please contact me. Uh, please send me an email um, or a phone call. Um, and uh, I'm so looking forward to meeting your boys and, and, and getting to know them and, and having them all back on on campus uh, as soon as possible. I'll keep you updated as to the way forward with our sports program during the COVID-19 uh, pandemic. And we hope, I'm sure as, as all of you do, that uh, um, we'll be back to a point of engaging in inter-school sport as soon as possible. So thank you very much and uh, good evening. <laughs>